redirected enough power to the system. Now we just need to send it to Medbay from the control room. antidote dispersed ASAP. Doing my best. Captain, we're under attack. We need help in... I can't hold them much longer. Bones, get me a location. They're in the observation lounge. Mr. Chekhov, if you can hear us, we are on our way to your location. <laughs> they breached the hull. We have injured. Just get the antidote. I want my ship back. This is beyond my control! Let's see what we've got here. you're here. Mr. Chekhov, you appear to be injured. I will be fine. Let's get you back to Medbay.
got you covered, Captain. Watch out! Found Chekhov, get ready to receive more injured. Do it. And Who's now the colony is under attack. Why does it? I take cannot imagine how Commander Spock must feel. He never shows any. Next time, use your phaser stun. Must weigh on him. Not even Lieutenant Uhura has coaxed a smile from him. His heart is heavy. I can only hope he finds relief soon. on that gurney. Thank you, Captain. I'll get him fixed up. Please tell me we have enough of that antidote. Looks like we got just enough. Now we gotta distribute it. Given the state of the infected, administering the vaccine may prove difficult. Not as difficult as you think, Spock. The vaccine is airborne. Fascinating. You mean we just pump it through the vents? Here's a highly concentrated batch of the vaccine. Get it into the generator's intake module, and the vaccine should eventually spread through the entire ship. I've marked the nearest atmospheric generator on your tricorders. Let's get to it. I need triage over here.
sooner you two can get that vaccine airborne, the better. It's stop! Get out of here! in the airstream I'd appreciate it. Things are getting a little crazy down here. how strong their security is. We're in. Thanks for the help. Dr. McCoy, the vaccine has been inserted into the ship's environmental systems. <laughs> Bones, are they okay? Toxins are disappearing from their bloodstream. They'll have a massive headache when they wake up. But all their life signs are returning to normal. Captain, whatever you're doing to the air, it seems to be taking its toll on the Gorn. Have they been incapacitated, Mr. Scott? Not really, sir, but they definitely don't like it. We're not out of the woods yet. They're breaching. We're on our way, Bones. Hurry up, Jim. There's more on the way. Whoa, this is getting too close for comfort. Watch those doors! I think we pissed them off.
appears to be the last of them. Good. Now let's end this. Mr. Suli, you ready to go? Ready, sir. Waiting on your command. Do it. I'll stay here and look after the injured. You do what you need to do. Spock! He wants you to give him control of the ship. Do not harm her. Spock, it could be a trap. If Lieutenant Uhura is... Don't worry, Spock. We'll get her back. You want control? I'll give you control. Captain, that is inadvisable. Don't worry, I got this. Personnel report to stations. How much longer before the rip closes, Mr. Chekhov? An hour, maybe less. It's hard to know for sure, Commander. Do you really think going to that ship is the best option? You've seen what those things are capable of. The Gorn cannot be allowed to control the Helios device. Securing it and Tamar are the only way to assure the safety of the Federation. Then promise me you'll be careful. I will do my best. No time for long goodbyes. Don't you worry, sir. The crew and I will hold off those bloody lizard ships until you come back. appears to have a double hull. Mr. Sulu's torpedo strike may have only punctured the outer layer. We need to find another way in. The Gorn will use all available resources to search for intruders. It would be highly advantageous if we could avoid detection. 